this Bible in a year reading is from the book of Exodus, chapters 19 and 20. Arrival at Sinai. In the third month after the Israelites' departure from the land of Egypt on the first day, they came to the wilderness of Sinai. After they made the journey from Rephidim and entered the wilderness of Sinai, they then pitched camp in the wilderness. While Israel was encamped there in front of the mountain, Moses went up to the mountain of God. Then the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, This is what you will say to the house of Jacob. Tell the Israelites, You have seen how I treated the Egyptians and how I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now if you obey me completely and keep my covenant, you will be my treasure of people, possessions among all peoples. Though all the earth is mine, you will be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. That is what you must tell the Israelites. So Moses went and summoned the elders of the people when he set before them all that the Lord had ordered him to tell them. All the people answered together everything the Lord has said we will do. Then Moses brought back to the Lord the response of the people. The Lord said to Moses, I am coming to you now in a dense cloud, so that when the people hear me speaking with you, they will also remain faithful to you. When Moses then had reported the response of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and have them sanctify themselves today and tomorrow. Have them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Let set limits for the people all around, saying, Take care not to go up the mountain or even to touch its edge. Who, all who touch the mountain must be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they must be stoned to death or killed with arrows. Whether human being or beast, they must not be allowed to live. Only when the ram's horn sounds, they may go up on the mountain. Then Moses came down from the mountain to the people and had them sanctify themselves as they washed their garments. He said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not approach a woman. The Great Theophany On the morning of the third day, there was peals of thunder and lightning and a heavy cloud over the mountain and a very loud blast of the shofar so that all the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stationed themselves in the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke because the Lord had come down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a kiln, and the whole mountain trembled violently. The blast of the shofar grew louder and louder while Moses was speaking, and God was answering him with thunder. When the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai, the top of the mountain, the Lord summoned Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. Then the Lord told Moses, go down and warn the people not to break through to the Lord in order to see him. Otherwise, many of them will be struck down for their part. The priests who approach the Lord must sanctify themselves, else the Lord will break out in anger against them. But Moses said to the Lord, the people cannot go up to Mount Sinai for you yourself warned us, saying, Set limits around the mountain to make it sacred. So the Lord said to him, Go down and come up along with Aaron, but do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, else he will break out against them. So Moses went down and the people and spoke to them. Chapter 20, The Ten Commandments Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall not have other gods beside me. You shall not make for yourself an idol or a likeness of anything in the heavens above or on the earth below or in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down before them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, inflicting punishment for their ancestors. 
wickedness on the children of those who hate me down to the third and fourth generation but showing love down to the thousandth generation uh, generation of those who love me and keep my commandments you shall not invoke the name of the lord your god in vain for the lord will not leave unpunished anyone who invokes his name in vain remember the sabbath day keep it holy six days you may labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord your god you shall not do any work either you or your son or your daughter your male or female slave your work animal or the resident alien within your gates for a six days the lord made the heavens and earth and the sea and all that is in them but on the seventh day he rested that is why the lord blessed the sabbath day and made it holy honor your father and your mother that you may have a long life in the land the lord your god is giving you you shall not kill you shall not commit adultery you shall not steal you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor you shall not covet your neighbor's house you shall not cover your neighbor's wife his male or female slave his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor moses accepted as mediator Now is all the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the blast of shofar, and the mountain smoking. They became afraid and trembled, so they took up a position further away and said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us, or we shall die. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to touch you and put the fear of him upon you, so you do not sin. So the people remained at a distance. While Moses approached the dark cloud where God was, the covenant code, the Lord said to Moses, this is what you will say to the Israelites. You have seen for yourself that I have spoken to you from heaven. You shall not make alongside of me gods of silver, nor shall you make for yourselves gods of gold. An altar of earth make for me and sacrifice upon it your burnt offerings and communion sacrifices, your sheep and your oxen in every place where I cause my name to be invoked i will come to you and bless you but if you make an altar of stone for me do not build it out of cut stone for by putting it chis chisel to it you profane it you shall not ascend to my altar by steps lest you your nakedness be exposed thank you for listening god bless you and i love you